you to leave. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. The Starks have manned the wall for thousands of years, and you are a Stark. We're not talking about the upcoming shows House of the Dragon and Tales of Duncan Egg, which are similar to Game of Thrones. We're referring to the Hollywood Reporter's report from 2022, which stated that Game of Thrones might receive a sort of sequel series. Here's everything you need to know about the spin-off series. The reported humors claim that Kit Harington will reprise the part from which he received two Emmy nominations in a live-action spin-off series centered on a fan-favorite character, Jon Snow. From a broader Game of Thrones perspective, this could signal a change in the franchise course, allowing us to learn what happened to the surviving characters rather than continuing to watch the prequel series indefinitely. Since then, HBO has developed a number of Game of Thrones spin-offs, and they all seem to suit this theory. HBO has concentrated on creating prequels as opposed to sequels. Season 2 of House of the Dragon, which is set about 200 years before Jon Snow's timeline, will soon premiere after the conclusion of Season 1. Speculated Plot What the stories will be for the Jon Snow spin-offs is its biggest immediate obstacle. Jon's Game of Thrones finale featured him returning beyond the wall with the other wildlings, a satisfying full circle scene that offered no obvious direction for a continuation. The wildlings will need to experience some fresh conflicts in the Jon Snow sequel. Whether they come in the form of an unforeseen threat, more internal struggles for power, or a combination of both, the plot may involve more of Westeros. But the fact that it is billed as a Jon Snow spin-off suggests that it will be more concentrated on the regions of the North of the Wall. Don't expect Jon Snow's former aunt and lover, Daenerys Targaryen, to appear in the show anytime soon, despite several cast members' interest in doing so. Amelia Clark responded, No, I think I'm done, when asked if she would return to the part, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Clark recently reiterated her positions in an interview with Extra. She was asked if she was going to be in the show, and she said, I don't think so. I adore you, Kit. Because of you, I'll watch that one, or I'll tell you that I did. But I won't be in it. I don't believe so, no. Seems like Emily Clark is done with Game of Thrones. She has been a part of Game of Thrones for over nine years. Fair enough, Daenerys passes away in the last season. Only in flashbacks may she possibly show up again, but that doesn't seem likely. However, Arya Stark might come back. The series was praised by actress Maisie Williams, who remarked, Everything surrounding the tale of Game of Thrones is incredibly intriguing. There is still so much tale to be told after such a spectacular performance. She mentions to be quite excited as she thinks Kit is such a fantastic actor. It was just like a cultural reset when he became Jon Snow. I consider everything he touches to be magical. Therefore, I'm interested to find out what it will be, she said. Williams may be willing to reprise her role as Arya Stark, even though she didn't say it directly. She wouldn't be the only former cast member of Game of Thrones who would be interested in going back. Gwendolyn Christie, whose fan favorite character, Brianna Tarth, survived the violent series, said in a Newsweek interview that she would be thrilled to play the part again. I think she's holding on. The actor who played Samuel Tarly, John's best friend, also left the door open, telling a famous media outlet, I haven't spoken to anyone about the potential Jon Snow prequel, but if someone wants to send a script my way, I'd be interested to read it. Along with the cast, George R.R. R. Martin, the most relatable procrastinator in literature, has commented on the show and provided some intriguing background information. Primarily the fact that Harrington came up with the idea for the show first. The author claimed on his website that Kit Harrington was the one who first suggested the concept. Since that information has not yet been approved for release, I'm unable to provide you with the names of the writers and showrunners, but Kit also brought his own crew in, and they are excellent. He goes on to confirm that he is involved in the making of the series, which currently has the working title, Snow. No doubt the show will have some massive comeback of certain characters. Which characters will return? Kit Harington's reappearance was part of the initial news about the Jon Snow spinoff for Game of Thrones. This makes sense given how challenging it would be to recast him. There are currently no confirmed cast members for the Jon Snow spinoff, although Christopher Heaview, who played Tormund Giant Spain in Game of Thrones, may also appear because both he and Jon's direwolf Ghost were present at the show's conclusion. Even though Jon is far away from them and beyond the wall, his Stark relatives could return. Additionally, it's plausible that Ygritte could make an appearance in flashbacks. Sansa Stark will be there in the series as she is now the Kingdom of North, and she has supported Jon Snow in, in every possible way, but they have also had their share of issues in the past. 
During the first season of Game of Thrones, Jon and Tyrion rapidly grew close as characters were marginalized by their own families and society. Even though they wouldn't cross paths again until season 7, their friendship was crucial to the show's climax. Tyrion can be seen playing some major role in this sequel. Davos Seaworth rapidly came to respect Jon. Jon turned to Davos as his most trusted counsel after Stannis was killed, defeated, and Jon was raised from the dead. Jon and Arya unquestionably have the closest bond among the remaining Starks. She is far away from Jon since she chose to sail into unfamiliar waters and explore the region west of Westeros. No doubt we can see the heroic return of Arya Stark. Release date. If the Jon Snow spinoff is produced, there will be a protracted production process ahead of it because HBO commissioned House of the Dragon in late 2019, and it will take about three years to reach theaters. Although there may be delays because of the pandemic, a comparable timeline would suggest that the Jon Snow sequel wouldn't be available until at least 2024, since Harrington is anticipated to play a significant role in the MCU's future as Black Knight. His schedule may also be a problem, which might cause scheduling difficulties and further delay the release of the Jon Snow spinoff. Given that the Jon Snow spinoff is still in the early stages of development, it's unlikely that it will air for quite some time, although there have been many discussions regarding Game of Thrones spinoffs. HBO is being selective about which ones are really developed. The only Game of Thrones spinoff that have a series order so far is House of the Dragon, and it appears to be the more pressing concern rather than establishing a GOT Jon Snow spinoff premiere date. Latest news. A former Game of Thrones actor's speculation about maybe appearing on the show is a source of the most recent Jon Snow spinoff news. When asked about the possibility of Davos returning for the Jon Snow spinoff, Liam Cunningham jokingly responded, better call Davos. Kit Harrington received the humorous message. Cunningham asserted that although he was amenable to the concept of going back, no one had yet approached him. He added, you probably know more than I do. I wish everyone involved the best of luck, and if the payment is substantial enough, I might even return. Many fans are raising speculations on whether Jon Snow will be in the cast. Well, for one thing, he made it through the horrific Game of Thrones climax. He learned that his real name was Aegon Targaryen, which qualified him to occupy the Iron Throne. But as the show came to a close, he was banished from Westeros. He might be the subject of a single series that follows him on his journey north of the Wall, where he faces numerous enemies and learns what it means to be a Targaryen. It appears like Harrington will need to find some downtime in the midst of what is probably a busy filming schedule for his project with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In any case, we'll be seeing a lot more of the man in the years to come. Do you wish to see Kit Harrington in the role of Jon Snow once more, or do you think it should end the way it did? We would like to hear your opinion on the Game of Thrones spinoff. So don't forget to leave your comments below and let's engage in vibrant discussions. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notifications to receive notifications when we release new videos. See you soon.